What is good, everybody? Today we're back with brand new WWE action figure news, and it's a long one, man. We got a lot of news. This came out of nowhere. We had a lot of stuff revealed yesterday that I want to get into, and a lot of great things coming, and I can't wait to get in with you. There's a lot of stuff here. So there's a lot of news to cover today, man. We're going to dive into it. We have two brand new waves revealed. We have an Ultimate Edition. We have some Build-A-Figure news. We have a Chase figure. We have a lot of cool stuff getting into, man. So let's go ahead. Let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into it and get started with our WWE or wrestling action figure news today, man. Let's start things off with the the next Monday Night War series. Yes, we do have a new Monday Night War series here, and it's it's looking pretty damn good. I'm excited for this set. I'm really excited for this set. We have Monday Night Wars Elite Series 6. Yes, and I'm excited for this entire wave. I think the entire thing looks pretty good, and it may hold a candle to one of the best Monday Night War series we've seen so far. I haven't ranked those sets in my mind. I haven't taken a closer look there, but first off, we have Hardcore Hack or Sandman, if you will, here, and this is a great looking figure. I love the way this figure looks overall, and the reason I like this is because it actually has the baggier pants and it looks like they did upgrade some of the different things that we have going on here compared to his previous figure that we saw in Elite Series 111. I love the dry brushing on the pants. I like the shirt, the kendo stick. We're getting more barbed wire here and he actually has his portrait on his bicep, which I think is such an excellent piece here. This figure looks great. It reminds me a lot of the Ultimate Edition we did make on Action Figure Surgery, which was awesome with the ECW shirt and stuff. Now, this is a great base if you want to make, you know, a later version of Sandman or something like that. This is a great great base Sandman. I hope I can find this figure. Uh, you guys know that uh, I, I'm literally revealing Series 6 here. We're talking about Series 6. I haven't even seen Series 2 in the store, son. I haven't even looked at Series number 2, 3, 4, 5 on the pegs at a Walmart location ever. And I'm over here talking about Series number 6. It makes me want to vomit. So that's just something to get in there. But I love this figure. This figure looks really good. And I was really impressed with Elite 111 Sandman. But you guys know that it did come with that man kind Shane McMahon, you know, sweatpants mold. It came with the damn John Cena shoe mold of old. Even if it did have the nice Reeboks on, I think that this is head and shoulders above that figure in a lot of ways. And I can't wait for this. I'm not going to really use it as a hack. I still like it. It is cool. But I'll be switching out the shirt here, making my own versions of Sandman. I'm going to make all the different versions of Sandman. I really wish that his Elite 111 had this leg mold and it didn't have the jogger or the sweatpants mold with that John Cena shoe mold but you know what man we'll make it work we'll figure out what we can do here We'll put this guy in some Rex Quando pants and we'll be beating the hell out of people in no time. But this figure looks sweet. I like this Sandman slash Hardcore hack a lot. And I don't know. Something about this figure just looks awesome. I'm very excited for it. But the next figure in the set is going to be Kane. Now, Kane, this is such a similar figure to a bunch of Kanes we've seen recently. But it does have, you know, the, the mesh on the chest or whatever. I say mesh like it's not just painted on. But you know what I mean. You know, it's supposed to be the mesh on the chest of his singlet or on his bodysuit that he used to wear back in the day. And this isn't a bad figure. It's very similar to Defining Moments, and it's very similar to figures we've seen in the past. Very similar to the Ultimate Edition, things like that. So, this is kind of my reasoning behind why the hell did we get that Defining Moments Kane. This is another reason why. It's like, we've seen this figure so many times, but it will be a good version of Kane. It's a great Kane. This Kane's gonna sell like hot case. This is such a classic, iconic look of Kane. This is the most iconic look of Kane. When you think of Kane, this is what you think of, and people are going to eat this figure alive. I haven't seen Series 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm not seeing this figure on pegs, man. If you don't pre-order these, you ain't finding them. That's just the way it is, at least for me personally. I have had the worst luck with Monday Night Wars, and it stinks, but uh, nonetheless, we are moving it right along. This figure does look good, though. I think it's a great-looking cane. It is a solid cane figure. I just hate that I probably won't be able to find it and, you know, review it here on the channel, but another great figure in this set is going to be the British Bulldog. I like this a lot. I really like the torso choice here. Not overly jacked. I like the gear a lot. I love a good white gear and things. Good-looking formula here. Nice-looking head sculpt. Great-looking figure. I like this. It's not the most over the top, but I like the wrist tape. I like the bicep bands. I like the white blue. It's just a really clean look of the figure. I don't see pinless joints. This figure is probably going to be really buttery smooth, which makes me excited for it. But I think the standout in the set for me has to be Booker T, man. This Booker T figure is absolutely money. I love this Booker T. And I will say that if I can get this in my... I mean, this figure is part of the 2024 clip. It may be... I think it is. I think it is still a, technically a 2024. You guys know that if I get the figure in hand this year, it automatically counts as a 2024 figure. Even if it's set to hit retail in 2025, if I obtain the figure from an online retailer before 2025, to me, it's a 2024 release. That's just the way I do things over on my channel. But this Booker T might be the best Booker T they've ever made. And when I talk about this black and red Booker T, man, the Chase variant in the white is the sickest damn figure I've ever even looked at. I'm not kidding you. When 
when I say that I'm over the moon excited for this white attire Booker T, this figure right here is so damn fresh. I love this figure. This is immaculate. And I'm not even the biggest Booker T fan you'll find, but this shit right here is fire. Literally and figuratively. I love this figure. This is going to be a top 10 elite of the year just by aesthetics. I think this looks so damn good. I, I love this. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because of the white gear or what the hell it is, but it looks nice. I like this a lot. I can't wait for this. Hopefully I'll be able to find this. And I, I just really dig this Booker T and that that's another pun right there unintended, but can you dig it? This one looks very sweet. I'm very excited for this one, but the builder figure in the set is going to be Golga, and this is just such a unique piece here. If you guys are unaware, it is John Tenta here, but such a unique look, a figure that's really going to stand out, so unique in its ways. It looks like it's going to be very poseable and things like that, so hopefully that will be the case. I'm hoping that he won't be super stiff, but actually, never mind. Like, looking at the poses, it probably, uh, his legs probably will not kick forward, which is going to make me want to kick my own A, but uh, nonetheless, it is a unique piece. Something that I don't think I ever would have seen us getting from Mattel and WWE, but we knew about this set back at San Diego Comic Con. I knew we knew about the set, but seeing these figures here, that's why when you see these leaked lineups or you see things announced, it's always nice to actually see the prototypes or whatever. But this figure does look cool as well. You could probably, you might be able to turn this into a different guy or something like that, but I do like this figure. I think it's very unique. I like unique build a figure, so this does look great. But nobody's sleeping on that damn white attire Booker T, man. That looks so damn good. Not to mention the championship. I'm over the I think this is a great looking Monday Night War set, all things considered. I think it's a great overall set. Pound for pound, probably. I don't know. It's, it's definitely up in there. If you rank the Monday Night War sets from worst to best, this would definitely be one of the top ones if you're including the chases. But let's get into the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Lex Luger. And again, these are Walmart exclusives. So yeah, you just yeah, good luck, Brad. It's like damn Lewis and Clark. You just hand you a map and it's like, yeah, guess what, Brad? You, you ain't get nothing. Good luck finding that shit. I feel like it's either you have nothing or you find them all the time time, and that's just the way it is. Distribution on these has just been absolutely atrocious, but one figure that I have been excited about is Lex Luger. I think it's a really good Lex Luger. I think that it, it you know, you, when you think of Lex and putting him in Ultimate Edition form, I feel like off the top of the dome, for me, I would think it would be a bit boring, but for some reason, I'm really liking this figure. I don't know, it's probably just the retooled WCW Championship. If this didn't have the retooled world title, it probably wouldn't move me very much, but I like the screaming head sculpt. I love the formula, the tall white boots look clean. I love a good black and white attire. He comes with a little rag there, the NWO version. I like these head sculpts and stuff. I think this is a pretty cool figure overall and one that I'm actually quite excited about. So I think that's good. I think that, you know, hopefully it'll move around well and do all the nice things. I've actually got to meet Lex Luger. So I think that this is a cool figure. I'm excited for it. I'm absolutely excited for it. And I know that a lot of people are going to be excited about getting that newly tooled NWO version too, because you can put that on your Hulk Hogan's of the world and anything else that you want to do there. So you could do those things, man. You could do those things. I like this Lex Luger. I'm looking forward to it, but I was excited to see the new updated images, even if I did see that at Comic-Con. Seeing the fa it's such a difference, man. Just because you see it in person doesn't mean anything. It's all it's obviously great to see the figures in person, but you know, you only get that like kind of angle that you're looking at. You don't get the really good lighting. The lighting at Comic-Con a lot of the times is actually not very good because there's a spotlight over the damn thing and there's freaking lights all spreading around and there's a lot of, you know, just crowd noise and everything, man. To really get back to sit back and look at the images is always great, but that was our Ultimate Edition Lex Luger. Let's move things along from the Monday Night Wars line, and let's get into this bit of news right here, man. Jesse the Body, man. Jesse the Body Ventura. Ringside Collectibles uploaded a video of him, and he says that hell has frozen over, and Jesse the Body Ventura has actually signed a Legends contract with Mattel and WWE, or not Mattel, but you know what I mean. They're, they've been in negotiation. They have he has returned to WWE, essentially. Jesse Ventura has been signed to WWE, and that does mean that we can get Jesse the Body Ventura action figures, which is something we've been waiting on on this channel, a lot of channels, a lot of fans of WWE action figures and wrestling alike. People have been wanting to get Jesse the Body back into wrestling action figure form, and I think that this is fantastic. I cannot wait for the different figures they're going to make. I'm sure we'll get Builder figures. We'll probably get some elites of some kind. They'll probably throw them in some sort of Ultimate Edition line or something like that. Who the hell knows at this juncture, but I am hella excited for Jesse the Body Ventura here. Can't wait to get his figures and everything like that. We saw it back with Jax, and now we finally are going to get new figures, and I think they're going to look excellent, and I can't wait. This is a guy that's been on my wish list for a very long time for Mattel, so 
getting him here is going to be excellent. Can't wait to review his figures, see them at Comic-Con, see them at these events, and actually get them in hand. Now, obviously, it's going to be a while, I'm sure, before we actually see a figure made of him, you know, actually in the plastic form and, you know, to be able to grasp and pose around. But it's still epic news, and I'm very excited to have him back in the WWE uh, just household name here, and we can actually have him in our Mattel collections. I think it's going to be great. Can't wait for it. Hopefully, there's more you know news to come on that and who's coming out and everything. But I thought that this was excellent news. Had to put this in a video because I think it's going to be awesome. But let's move things along, man. We do have the new AEW Unrivaled 16. Now, I know this is a wave we've been waiting on for a very long time. Let's get into it, man. Starting things off first, we do have Julia Hart here. Great looking figure. I think this looks just like her. I like the coat. I like the hat. Very cool figure indeed. It's not a chase either, so that's a bonus. We actually, this is going to be a figure that you're going to be able to obtain, so that's a very good thing as well. At least I don't think it's a chase by God. I think that Julia Hart looks really good, and I know it's been a long time coming, so hopefully her figure will feel really good in hand. We also have Orange Cassidy in the black with the black jacket. He comes with the championship and the backpack here. I don't think the backpack is actually uh, like opening. You can't really open it. I know at Comic Con, I do believe it did come with a zipper on it, but I don't think that that's going to come on the final product here, so that's kind of important. But he does come with the AEW backpack, which is really unique. And he's actually going to have no, he doesn't have the pocket feature, which is great. But what's interesting about the pocket feature not being featured here, I know I just said featured like 16 times, but just stay with me here, is the Chase variant, one of 3,000, is the non pocket function blue attire. So if you want the posable non pocket function Orange Cassidy, you can get that in the Chase variant. So if you want, you know, a posable version that looks more like his iconic look or his notorious look, if you will, then you're going to have to get this one of 3,000. I'll definitely be trying my hand at it, at it just to have this as a posable Orange Cassidy. But, you know, they, things are what they are, man. I, I'm excited for both versions. I'm going to get the black version and the jeans version or at least try my hand at it. But I'm a big Orange Cassidy fan, so I'm looking forward to obtaining that figure or trying to. But the figure does look good here, even if it is just mint on card. But we also have Austin and Colton Gunn, both very good-looking figures. I love the Statue of Liberty style color or that tealish, greenish blue color. We have the silver and white details. The tattoos look good. I like their bandanas. I like the sleeve that we have on Colton Gunn. Just a really cool attire overall, and I think that these guys look awesome. They have their tattoos and everything. A long time coming as well, but they they look good. I know we saw these figures on display at Comic-Con. They were on part of that mountain there, so actually having these figures and actually getting to have them in the collection. It's been a long time coming, like I stated, so I'm excited to get these guys finally in here in their great attire. And then probably the figures we were most looking forward to have to be the Hardy Boys, man. Look at this Jeff Hardy right here, man. This Jeff Hardy looks insane. I love that we have these two different expressions. You have the blank stare or the kind of pissed off version. And then you do have the screaming head sculpt, which looks really good as well. It's the all black attire, which say what you will. I think that it looks really awesome. I love the, the head sculpts are phenomenal from this angle. I know we don't have a great look at them, but I'm glad that we have that Amazon two pack coming as well. And this set is actually shipping out. So Unrivaled 16 is shipping right now. You can get your Jeff Hardy and your Matt Hardy, but I am very much looking forward to this Jeff Hardy. It doesn't look like we're going to have to deal with that Dean Ambrose style torso that was just painted over. They actually have a fully fledged, you know, top tight sleeve going on. And then we do have the Matt Hardy to match, which looks so good. And he comes with a pissed off head sculpt and a screaming head sculpt. I always love it when they give you an option, man. That's always great. But the only thing I'm worried about with these figures is the scaling, which more than likely probably will be an issue. But I like the way these figures look. I'm excited for them. I think they're going to be great. And I think that Matt and Jeff look great. And I can't wait to get these and Amazon 2-pack, like I stated. So getting multiple Hardys in here, I'm glad that before, you know, I think they will eventually return to Mattel and WWE eventually. But right now, getting these Jazzwares figures, they're actually really good execution. So I'm excited for them. But we also have the... Chase variant, the one of 5,000, is going to be Takeshita. And Takeshita looks really good. And I know a lot of people were upset. They were like, oh my God, the only way to get Takeshita is to get this Chase variant. But I feel like these Chases haven't been too hard to obtain if you really wanted them. Obviously, you want them to be the more main printed line. But getting him here isn't the biggest deal. I know a lot of people were upset about it because we are getting that ringside exclusive version of Takeshita. So I know a lot of people are going to get that one as well. And if you don't want to hunt down the Chase, you will be able to get that ringside exclusive one. But it looks good. I like the blank head sculpt and the yelling head sculpt. I always talk about how nice it is to have an option. I, I don't mind screaming head sculpts as long as I have the option to have the non-screaming head sculpt. So that's always good. And AEW and Jazzwares always does a really good job of giving us a choice between, you know, they give us interchangeable heads a lot with regular Unrivaled on match figures, so that's good, but that's the full wave. I think it's a pretty solid wave overall. I'm excited for it. I think the chases are good. I'm looking forward to it. I like that they made, you know, that different Orange Cassidy, and then you can get the other version there. 
I think uh, we're, we're looking pretty good here across the board, but this little bit of extra news right here is crazy, man. So these people right here, they're called Collegiate Legends. Now, I have to preface this. I have to get a lot of information out right here, but you're going to notice these are college football action figures. And the reason that I'm mentioning them, if you don't notice what these are, this is Alabama Crimson Tide football player action figures. Now, if you guys are unaware, I am from Tuscaloosa. I've grown up in Tuscaloosa my entire life. I've lived here. And the University of Alabama, college football is everything to us here. And this looks amazing. These I came across these on Instagram. And so they have made a few different figures here. And I do believe you can go order these. They're getting a new shipment in this week. I'll put the link in the description below. You can go check them out. But these figures right here. So number 13 is Malachi Moore. He's one of the captains of the defense. And then we do have like a generic player like of two different skin tones, which is really cool. But... I think, so I did hit them up being an Alabama fan and being from Tuscaloosa, and we are actually going to be reviewing these on the channel. I'm going to do an unboxing of these and everything like that on the channel, and I can't wait to get these because they look really good, and they look like they're going to scale well with different action figures, and we'll, we'll put them up there next to different waves so you guys can see, but I think these are so damn awesome, and being an Alabama fan and just growing up here and seeing this, I've always wanted articulated figures of, of football players and athletes alike. We talked about the you know, the starting lineups figures with the, you know, the LeBron and the Steph Curry and the Luka Doncic line that they made with the starting lineups. I know those were short-lived, but it's because they charge so much out the gate. But these look really damn cool. I'm excited for it. I think I'm going to customize some and play around with them, see how good they are, how well they move and everything like that. I think they're going to be fun figures. So that will be something. I wanted to plug these in because I just thought they looked awesome. So I think they're even in the makings to try and make more and more teams and colleges and schools. So that'll have to be something that we look at. But I'm actually really excited for these. I think they look great. And being a massive just sports fan, college football fan, football coach, having a football background and everything, I am looking forward to these a lot. And I think they, I mean, they just look awesome, man. So I'm, I'm excited to review these or get these in hand. We'll do some sort of unboxing or something like that with them and see how good they are and everything like that, man. But I wanted to plug these in the video. If you guys are interested in those, you can click the link in the description below. Go check them out there. Follow them on Instagram and stuff. They look pretty damn cool, man. So I'm excited for those. But nonetheless, man, I think that is going to pretty much wrap up today's news video. Had a lot to unpack here. We had some great news, some great figures to cover and everything. But I think at the end of the day, that is going to wrap up our news video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Appreciate you fellas so much. Thank you guys so very much for everything, man. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for your support as always. But that is going to pretty much wrap up today's video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.